Eric here with a special video to showcase my Futurama DVD collection. If you notice carefully, there's only five boxes. Four for the seasons and one for one of the four movies. I was actually planning on buying all four movies, but I ended up deciding not to because I won't. I wouldn't say I only like the first movie, but I like the first movie much better than the other three. I mean, if there's a way where they could have had the, the first movie as the last, that would have been nice. So let's start off with uh, Season 1, or, or vol the box says Volume 1. Futurama is my uh, favorite cartoon series as of as of now. I mean, yeah, I like Gundam, but for Futurama, I like the comedy aspect. Although normally I'm a big fan of action, and I'm trying to get this out, and I'm not. I was doing it wrong. I wasn't supposed to open the. I'm supposed to. There you go. So here's the first box. Looks pretty awesome. There's the uh, Slurmad. There's that uh, tr tube transportation. Pets on rocket packs. Humans on rocket pats packs. There's Amy and Kiff. And Zoidberg. And I believe that's. Uh, Dr. Wernstrom and that crazy old lady. So let's take a look at the DVDs. If you put them together, it actually makes a picture. Kind of hard to get into one shot. But there's a meteor across the first two. There's a On the other side, there's flame extending from the... Well, it's, it doesn't make a perfect match, but it's close enough. And let's see. There's the suicide machine. So for the first DVD, there's... There's like the pilot. I like the pilot. And the second episode about the moon. And the third episode is about uh, Fry moving in. So for uh, season one, let's see. I like the pilot a lot. The I roommate episode where Fry and Bender are moving together. I like that episode a lot. And Hell is Other Robots. That was definitely a great episode. And a big piece of garbage. Fear of a Bot Planet. Bot Planet was also pretty funny. And there's a, a Flight to Remember, which is a parody of Titanic. That was pretty funny. And definitely a top favorite of mine, Fry and the Slurm Factory. Parody of uh, Willy Wonka and the F Chocolate Factory. So I would say those are my favorite episodes of season one. So let's take a look at season two or volume two. There's a brain slug, Hermes, Zoiberg. Those uh, I forgot what the fast food things were called. But there's Bender with his Bender bling chain and the professor. Robot Nixon. Same thing with these covers. They all uh, try to match up, make a big picture. So for season two, let's see. I definitely like the why I must why must why must I be a crustacean in love. Let's see what else. 
Raging Bender was pretty funny and The Lesser of Two Evils. The Problem with Poplars, that's what they're called. Poplars. And the Robot Mafia episode was pretty funny. Bender gets made. Of course, you probably can't read a single thing that I'm showing you, but uh, I'll read the titles just to make sure. And War is the H Word. That was pretty funny. A parody of Star Starship Troopers. Also, uh, something I liked about the series was the how sometimes they have a parody of the Twilight Zone. They, for them, it was called uh, Scary Door. It was pretty funny. Like there's a skit about what, which is, but oh, I messed it up. So combining all the most evil animals on the planet, and the guy walks out. Turns out it's a human. So anyway, so here's season three. There's Leela eating, or well not eating, collecting time quarks or time molecules. And there's Fry cooking up Bender in the back. Actually, I bought these uh, DVDs at uh, Best Buy because they were on sale. I believe they're like $18 each. $18 per season, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, cons comparing to those anime DVDs where it's like $20 for three episodes. And of course, another big picture. You can see the Bender's antenna. And that uh, little planet. Well, not planet. But... And Bender's feet. So that's a nice touch of the DVDs, the covers. So for season three, Amazon Woman in the Mood, Parasites Lost. Those are great episodes. Also, The Luck of the Fryish. So these two had like a nice emotional touch to it. The Day Earth Stood Stupid was also pretty funny. Time Keeps On Slipping also had some emotional touch to it and uh, I Dated a Robot, that was pretty funny. They made fun of Napster. And Roswell That Ends Well, Time Traveling episode, hilarious. And Godfellas is an episode about Bender meeting God, so it's definitely a great episode. And there's a uh, the 30% Iron Chef, there's like a Yoda-like character in it. So that's it for season 3. Now for season 4. The cover has the characters and then you remove it and bam. I'm not sure what these are considered, I don't know, skeletons. So let's take a look at the front. More connecting pictures. There's Fry's head in the back. So for season four, not too fan, fond of those episodes. The Wire Fry, that's a pretty good episode. Bender should not be allowed on TV, another great episode. Bend Her, also a great episode, and The Sting. Where no fan has gone before, that's probably my least favorite episode. It's about Star Trek. But after watching a couple times, it's, it's kind of grown on me. And Spanish Fry is pretty hilarious. And the Devil's Hands are idle playthings. This was the series finale, I believe. And it was pretty good. 
it was a nice ending to it and then they decide to make the movies so this is the first movie Bender's Big Score and I liked it a lot can you see the 3, 3D-ish of the cover so uh, well I won't spoil anything because you, I definitely recommend that you watch it and it's my favorite of the all three movies so that's it for this video until next time.